I've had that happen a lot in my life, being a band director's kid and uh, growing up in the business. Uh, he knew my dad real well uh, back when Ron was a band director and my dad was uh, still alive and still teaching. Uh, so he, uh, he called me uh, because he wanted me to, he wanted to encourage me to look at the head band directing uh, position that was here, that was open at the time. I politely told him no. And he said thank you very much and wished me the best and we moved on. Well, he kept calling me. Uh, he would not take no for an answer. And I can tell you that not only am I glad I finally came up and checked out Bartlesville, my family and I have never regretted. That decision. It didn't take long to figure out that Ron is. Okay, I'm sorry. Give me a moment. And I'll Thanks. I may have someone to get a volunteer to come up and read this in a second. Um, it didn't take long to figure out that Ron and his wife Kay were pillars of this community, and together they had shaped lives of the lives of thousands of young people. Uh, my relationship with Ron grew as I got to know him better, and he became like another dad to me, and certainly a great mentor. What I um, what I learned was that you know Ron had been principal at the Mid High here for many years. Uh, after he uh, left teaching band, he was actually forced to leave teaching band because his superintendent came down to him one day early in his career and said, um, you're going to be principal next year. He, he very much like the story with him and me, he said, no, I'm not. And he said, yes, you are. And he said, uh, respectfully, sir, I, I want to teach band. He said, respectfully, Ron, if you want to stay in this district, you'll be my principal. Uh, and so Ron went on to, uh, to, to become an amazing uh, administrator. And uh, I'll don't want to steal Jeff's thunder, so I'll let him tell a little bit more about that. Uh, but uh, Ron's wife, Kay, was also a, a rock star math teacher. Uh, and the two of them together literally shaped thousands of lives of students here. I knew that he and Jeff Lawless were very close uh, when Ron passed away uh, about nine years ago. And so I spoke to Jeff about the project of commissioning this piece in his honor. We chose Ed Huckabee, a friend and Oklahoma composer who happened to grow up with Ron and Kay in the metropolis of Allen, Oklahoma. If you've never heard of Allen, Oklahoma, you're not alone. Uh, no offense to, to my friends from Allen, they're here tonight. It's a suburb, if you will, of Ada, Oklahoma. And they grew up singing, uh, uh, singing together and were great friends and went on to do some pretty amazing things. As we tried to come up with the name of this piece, though later on, Jeff suggested The Eternal Optimist, which described Ron perfectly. Tonight you're in for a treat. Not only have we invited Jeff to conduct the Eternal Optimist, he's brought his better half, the amazing Laura Lawless, another rock star math teacher, with him tonight. Also, Kay Jared and her family, beautiful family, are here tonight. And our composer, Dr. Ed Huckabee, and his beautiful wife, Trish, have also driven in for the concert. Please help me welcome the Jareds, the Huckabees, and the Lawlesses. couple of quick words. My wife is probably not very happy right now because when I was a band director here in Bartlesville, she would always tell me after a concert uh, that I talked too long. So I'm glad that Mr. Clausen has carried on that tradition <laughs> here, here in Bartlesville. Um, just a cu couple of quick things. Uh, in 1988, Ron Jared was the principal at the Mid-High and he hired my wife and myself to come up and be teachers at the Mid-High. And he loved, he loved to tell people that uh, uh, the only reason he hired me was that so he could hire a really good math teacher. And uh, I think he would tell it the other way around sometimes too, but uh, that's the one I heard the most. Um, Ron was a great mentor and a friend to many people, uh, including myself. There were many times on Sunday afternoons, he would go up and work at the mid-high, and I would go up and work. And I, at times, would have something to complain about with the central office administration. 
and I'd go up there and sit in his office and we'd gripe about it for an hour and he would try to point out the positive things and then he would always end up by saying, but you know, I'm the eternal optimist. And uh, he definitely, definitely was. But uh, Rama's a great man and it's a great honor to come up here and conduct again. It's been 15 years since we left Bartlesville and uh, was a band director there for 19. So I hope you enjoy uh, Ed Huckabee's The Eternal Optimist.
Dr. Huckabee, where are you at? Right there. What a cool. Yeah, it's not, not every day that students open up a piece of music and they see their own high school band listed at the top underneath the, uh, the, the, the title saying commissioned by. And, and uh, Kay, I think you're here. We're, we're, oh, there we go. Hey, everybody, give a round of applause to Miss Kay Jared right here and her family. I think the only appropriate thing to do after the concert tonight in honor of that is to go to Jared's. <laughs> all right, so at this time we'd like to do a quick all-state recognition. Um, we, <laughs> we thought we had the, the band banquet all planned out and perfect, and, and it, it went off really, really well, and it was a lot of fun recognizing all the kids. One thing that uh, their head band director forgot to do was uh, recognize the all-staters. Uh, to, to make all-state in Oklahoma in, in, in band is extremely difficult. and. To, to make it more than once, you're in a really elite group. And not only do we have students that have done that, we have a couple of students that have done it three times, we have a, a couple of students that have done it twice, and then we have a couple of students that have done it once so far. So I'd like to recognize them at this time. If you made Allstate, if you made Allstate, would you please come forward? Please come forward, we're gonna give you guys a plaque. Yep, if you made Allstate, come on up. Very good. Okay, so if you guys will line up right here, and let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Any last questions? I don't know if they're perfectly in order, but this is good enough. So. If you would please hold your applause until we've named all of their names and given them their plaques. As I call their name, we'll hand them their plaque. We're going to start here with Ryan Fullerton, who's made Allstate three years in a row. Becca Waller, who's been on the roster three years in a row. Adamir Hall, who's been on the roster, has made it two years in a row now. Nick Platten's been on two years in a row now. Okay, Jacob Duhon, who made it this year. Sorry. Yeah. Alex Carey, who made the roster this year. And Eric Mashburn, who made it this year. Please give all these All-Staters a round of applause. When you have that many stu students making all state, and you, if you look in the roster, you see that, uh, all the all district students. There's a reason the band plays so well. Uh, these kids have worked really, really hard to to be able to achieve these these individual music goals, so that we together can make some really great music. Um, as they say, now for something a little different. Uh, this next piece we're going to perform for you is a very much a programmatic piece of music, which means it tells a story. It's not a it's not a you know play by play type story. It's a use your imagination and kind of put yourself their story. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of interesting sounds from both the percussion section and the winds. You're going to hear some things that you probably haven't heard since they were in sixth grade, <laughs> and you're going to wonder what is that. Uh, imagine that that uh, that maybe you have uh, found a cave. You've been out, uh, you know, checking things out, and you, you find this cave, and you're trying to what, you know, decide: Do I want to be a spelunker today? Do I want to check this thing out, or or not? Then you decide: Yeah, it's a little spooky, and uh, we're going to put you in that mode, in that mood right now. The cave you fear, by composer who actually spent some time here in Bartlesville a couple of years ago. He uh, was commissioned to do a piece for the NBDA Honor Band and loved Bartlesville. He loved the Price Tower and all that. He lives in Manhattan, uh, but great guy, great composer as well, uh, Michael Murkowski.
Thank you very much. That's a fun one to do. So some things that you heard back there uh, in the percussion section, uh, you heard what's called, I think they're called Super Bowl mallets, and they're, they're a creation that, that you can actually make yourself by you. and they use them on the, diff on the different uh, drums back there, different percussion instruments. You heard th that real loud roar. That was, it was literally called a lion's roar. Uh, we, we took a bass drum and we, uh, we put a hole in the, in the head, something you should never do. Don't try that at home, kids. And, uh, and Lucas was back there with a wet rag pulling on a, on a rope to create that sound. You heard saxophones uh, doing multiphonics. Um, where you know, they're doing all the things we told them not to do in sixth grade. Uh, so it creates a lot, of, a lot of fun effects. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, next, what I'd like to do, is I want to do a few thank yous. Uh, yeah, there's the lion's roar. Go to sleep now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I need to do a few thank yous. And, um, you know, I, there's no way we, that we, we could do what we do if, if this uh, community uh, wasn't wasn't so active in what we do, and I mean community in terms of yes, our community of Bartlesville, but also right here in our school community as well. Uh, I have, have have done this for 26 years, and I've had some really great administrators, and I've had some challenging administrators. Uh, I've had some really great school board members. I've had some challenging school board members. But I'm going to tell you, the 14 years I've spent in Bartlesville has been just top notch. It's been so much fun, and I really appreciate these folks so much. Uh, our superintendent Chuck McCauley is 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 a second to none, and uh, he puts he puts together a great team of people who have taken very good care of me over the years, and definitely good care of our students. Um, Seth Weimer, who runs our, our FAC, uh, has done a fantastic job. Uh, you know, when I came here, we had Ricky Newkirk, who was was incredible, and we all got scared. What are we going to do? How are we going to handle this when, when Ricky passed? Uh, and Seth has come in, and he's he's made it his own and done an incredible job. And every every performance we do, he he always has a, a group of students who are, are working as if they're 
professional full-time uh, techs, and they do a fantastic job for us. Uh, all our folks here in the fine arts, the faculty that, that I work with here at the high school and both the middle schools, incredible. Um, all the way from our office staff to our custodians, uh, everybody has just really made this a lot of fun for me and made this a lot easier for me to do what I do and what we do as, as band uh, teachers and our band students. Could we please give a round of applause to all of our administration and our faculty and our support staff. One of the things I discovered when I came to Bartlesville was the reason that academics were so uh, so high here and, and students were, were achieving at such a high level uh, was because the community expected it. And, and in the fine arts area, there was a lot of expectations there. Uh, but over the years, I've really enjoyed seeing that grow. And I just want to encourage you all, as you move forward, continue to demand the best uh, because you deserve it, your kids deserve it, and this community deserves it. This is a special place. You drive around the country, you're not going to find other places anywhere near this size that has the kind of offerings and the kind of architecture uh, that, that Bartlesville has. So please understand, if you've lived here a long time, I know it's easy to get complacent. It's a very special place. And uh, and I am so delighted that I've been able to, to raise my family here and that we've been able to uh, spend so much time here working with these incredible students. What we'd like to do now is I want to take a moment and recognize... Uh, a couple of our, our seniors uh, who are going to achieve, or who are going to receive uh, some pretty high awards. This first award is called the Divalbus Award. It's named after Doug and Dina Divalbus. Um, when they left uh, Bartlesville roughly six years ago, I'm not, don't quote me on that, but around that amount of time, um, they had finally retired as as BBOB officers and members. Uh, we have a lot of incredible volunteers. Uh, I mean, if, if I went through all of that tonight, we'd be here for another two hours. Even though they deserve it, I'm not going to do that to you. Um, the, 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 the booster presidents that I've worked with have been incredible. I mean, Amy, all the way back to, to Rhonda, my first couple of years here, every one of them, the boards, they've uh, have taken great care of me. Um, but the Dival Bisses have something on most of us. They were band booster and orchestra booster members and parents for 18 years. You think four years is a long time. <laughs> so they did it for 18 years through, I think, five different uh, children. And so we decided when they left, they deserved an award. <laughs> so we started giving an award out in their name. And this award is going to go to one of our top seniors uh, as, a, as a congratulatory gesture. Uh, for all the, the great stuff that they've achieved musically and what they've done for our program. And it also comes with it a monetary prize. Thank you. comes uh, with it a monetary prize from our boosters of $250. This year's Doug and Dina Divalbus Music Scholarship goes to Mr. Ryan Fullerton. The next award we're going to give is considered the, the top graduating senior award that is given in, in the band world. Uh, it's it's kind of cool that, uh, that we're doing Stars and Stripes tonight because this is called the John Philip Sousa Award. Uh, John Philip Sousa is considered by many to, to be the, the father of, of the band, concert band, and the whole band world. Uh, John Philip Sousa achieved many, many things. You can look him up if you don't know much about him, but I bet most of you know. He was known as the March King, but he, he wrote hundreds of other compositions besides just marches. Uh, but the award that we're going to give out tonight goes to a, a student who has achieved at the very highest level in a band program, student who has also given a lot of themselves to the band program, and uh, to, to, to earn this award is, is a huge accomplishment. In the band world, whenever you tell somebody, I, I got the John Philip Sousa Award, 
they know that you're something special. So with this award, uh, we're going to have a desk weight that has their name on it and has Mr. Souza on it as well. Um, they're going to get a lapel pin and they're going to have a certificate that is hidden behind Mr. Souza there because we don't want you to know who it is yet. And then there's also going to be, oh, hey, Ryan, make sure I give you this check. I got your check with me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have a really good dinner after this concert. <laughs> Just kidding, Cindy. All right, and then a $500 check from our boosters. So I am tickled, delighted, and ecstatic to uh, announce tonight's SUSE Award recipient for 2022 is Miss Becca Waller. Okay, last thing, and, and Laura's right, and Jeff is right, and all that, yes, I know. My, uh, my dad went to my very first band concert as a band director. Unfortunately, he passed away that next year, but he got to go to one of my concerts, and I got done, I said, what did you, you think? He goes, you talk too much. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Was the band all right? Yeah, they were fine. Okay, thanks, Dad. So anyway, uh, this senior class has is, is been an incredible class. I mean, we're, we're sick and tired of talking about COVID, I know. We're sick and tired about thinking about it. But when you think about what these guys have been through and how they've persevered, these students that we have, these roughly 20 students we have on, on the stage right now have made it through. They've made it through some things that a lot of adults uh, really struggled making it through. And not only have they made it through, but they've achieved it at a really high level. And they've been great leaders to these younger students. They've been great musicians. They've been great human beings. Uh, academically, holy cow. Ladies and gentlemen, I started tracking roughly five or six years ago how, many, how much money our band seniors were earning in scholarships. Because I kept hearing it every year at, at the high school assembly. And, you know, kids would earn over a million dollars. I'm like, holy cow, I wonder how much the band is doing. That's got to be pretty good. I mean, maybe we're making, you know, 20000 100000 maybe. That ought to be pretty good. First year I did it, I was blown away that uh, I want to say that class had earned somewhere in the neighborhood of $250,000, uh, maybe close to a half a million dollars possibly. I was like, wow. Ever since then, it's been somewhere between two hundred and fifty and roughly $850,000. Every senior class in band and that's if we had 18 seniors, 16 seniors, 24 seniors. You're just pretty incredible. This year, in the program, it's a little off because we had some more students earn money over the last few days. Over $1.6 million. They're pretty good at that clapping thing. <laughs> I'm going to be nice. I'm, I was, I was going to give them a hard time, but I'm not. Um, so we, I think our, our senior class this year earned a little over $3 million. Do the math. We're very proud of these guys. Okay, so our last number, Stars and Stripes Forever. It's our national march. Uh, if you didn't know this, uh, actually, uh, Jimmy Sade of Sade Music was instrumental no pun intended, and going to Congress and helping lobby to make it our national march. And so we're going to be real excited to play your national march for you tonight. And this is pretty cool for me because a couple of these kids went to Europe with me a couple of years ago, and we performed it all, all through Europe, about five different countries. And Becca, as a little freshman going into 10th grade, got to get featured on the piccolo solo. We're going to feature her again tonight, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy Stars and Stripes Forever. Thanks.
Good evening. I'm Julie Pattison. I'm the vice president of BBOB. This is Amy Atkinson. She is the president. Mrs. Clausen, are you nearby? We need Mrs. Clausen to come to the stage while she's making her way. If you're a crier, now would maybe be a good time to grab a tissue, have that handy. <laughs> Mrs. Clausen has served our students graciously and faithfully alongside Mr. Clausen for 14 years. And most of that has been behind the scenes. She has taken care of their home and daughters. She has been chaperone, assistant, hostess, organizer, and volunteer. On behalf of the Bartlesville Band and Orchestra Boosters, we would like to present you with a small token of our great appreciation. Enjoy your next chapter. May you be proud of the work you've done, the person you are, and the difference you've made. privilege of working with Mr. Clausen for the past 10 years as a band parent. Nine of those years, I've had the privilege of working with him also as a fellow music educator in Bartlesville Public Schools. Three words that describe Mr. Clausen. There are many. I've chosen three. <laughs> Dedicated, tenacious, and communicator. As an educator, he has been a ferocious advocate for our district and our students. He understands the importance of music in educating the whole child. While most 6A high school band directors completely ignore the elementary music teachers and their programs, Mr. Clausen has taken a very hands-on approach to bringing our youngest musicians into our band family. As a parent for the last 10 years, there have been moments where I have doubted Mr. Clausen's sanity. Just a few. But while I may have doubted his sanity, I have never doubted his sincere love for his students. Mr. Clausen has fielded countless emails, text messages, phone calls, in-person conversations every single day, and always with a cheerful and professional attitude. Most of the time. I'm, he said that. <laughs> I'm going to miss getting my seven emails and nine text messages from him every day. <laughs> there is no way to calculate the number of hours that Mr. Clausen has invested into this band program and into the lives of our children. Bandological family is a phrase that Mr. Clausen uses frequently. These are his kids. And he demands the best from them because he wants the best for them. So, after 14 years, it is time to say farewell as the Clausens move on to bigger and better adventures. In recognition of your devoted service to the Bruin Brigade and all the students who have passed through your band room, the band boosters would like to present you with a token of our appreciation. May your valves be well oiled. May your reeds never crack. May your rehearsals be productive and your skills never lack. May your last time be your best time. And may your dad jokes be clever. <laughs> For years you've been a Bruin and you're a Bruin forever. guys, um, I'm Savannah Wooten. Um, I'm a senior saxophonist here um, in the class 2022. Um, the senior class, once uh, Mr. Clausen announced that he was going uh, to go on to the OSSAA, 
Um, we all knew that we wanted to do something for him, but um, none of us were really sure what we wanted to do. And um, as the lead boss lady that I am, um, I took it under my wings to come up with some plans. And um, with the help of a couple of special seniors, um, we came up with a photo album for Mr. Claus and that kind of documents his senior year with us, um, just so he can keep it, you know, forever and uh, cherish his, his senior year, because this is also his senior year. Um, the class 2022 is really special. It's a really special class. Um, it's full of really talented musicians, really great kids, and uh, we're really glad that Mr. Clausen gets to join our class. And while we're, while we're sad that he's leaving, we're really excited that he's going to get to touch the lives of many, many musicians across the state of Oklahoma. So this beautiful photo album, designed by me, um, is our gift to him. So each one to say thank you. So uh, in one of very, very few ways that Mr. Clausen has not influenced me, I will try not to talk for too long. Uh, it's really surreal being up here. Uh, in the more than half a decade that I've been performing with the Bartlesville Bruin Band program, I never thought that he would abandon us like this uh, just to go do something way more important. And... I guess this has been said so many times, but it cannot be overstated. What we have here in Bartlesville, particularly in the Bartlesville band, is really special. And I think deep down we all know that it would not be the same at all without Mr. Clausen here to guide us. From the honor band participants to scholarship recipients, Nobody up here would have accomplished what they have musically without his leadership, his guidance, everything he's done for us. So, that said, uh, it didn't feel right to let him run off to OKC without getting him a little something to remember us by. So, uh, we had this plaque made that has our mission statement and our picture from OBA from this year. And uh, speaking of our mission statement, I think I have a pretty important question for the people standing behind me. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what is our purpose?
Thank you so, so very much. I know that was a long concert, so thank you. Uh, we appreciate it. Hard part's over, uh, I think. Uh, now go to Jared's. <laughs> Have a great evening. Uh, we're going to get our stuff put away, and then, uh, and then we'll send them out to you to the lobby here in a moment. So if you are their ride, please meet them out in the lobby. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. My family and I really appreciate all of you. Thank you.